Hi there, I am Joshua Rash and I am a licensed speech language pathologist and this is Empty Pocket Speech. Today's video is directed specifically to the parents and caregivers of children who have a speech and language impairment. I want to talk with you about how you can help your child with their articulation at home. First, use gentle reminders for correction. So when your child is working on their speech and they are practicing a certain sound, make sure that you are providing good models for that target sound and that you're reminding them to use what they've learned in therapy. Try to revise what your child is saying. If your child says something incorrectly, try repeating it back with the correct production. For example, if your child says, I like the dog, you can say, Oh, I like the dog. As with most things, practice is key. Aim to spend between 5 and 10 minutes with your child practicing their target sound. You can do many different activities to work on their sound, including scavenger hunts, coloring pages, I Spy, Uno, and other games. As much as possible, draw your child's attention to their target sound by modeling that sound and using it many times in your daily routine. Within your daily routine, be aware of your child's target sound and make sure to use it a lot. Provide that good model frequently throughout the day. Make sure to address any health concerns that could be underlying factors for their speech production. Some of the things that you should be looking out for are reoccurring ear infections, hearing impairments, difficulty sleeping, drooling, irregular dentition, so missing teeth, things like that. Make sure that those things are addressed. Make sure to read to your child. Reading has been proven by many studies to be an incredibly beneficial practice for children really of all ages. So read to them, emphasize their sound when it comes up. When you are playing with your child in different activities, draw emphasis and have your child identify what their target sound is when it comes up and provide those good models. When you notice your child saying their sound correctly, try to congratulate them. Draw emphasis and make it a special occasion. This is something that will be highly motivating to your child. An example would be, wow, I love how you just made that K sound, if that is their target. Also, try to stay positive when you're working with your child. Kids thrive off of positivity, and if they are being encouraged to attempt to try, they are more likely to continue working on their sound with you. When you're working with your child, be positive as much as possible. Congratulate even their attempts at making their sound. To discourage frustration, make sure to use positive words that are encouraging for them to make those attempts with you at home. Lastly, ask about how things are going in speech. Participate as much as possible and be in communication with your child's speech therapist. Well, you've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have a question or a comment that you would like to share, please drop it down below and let me know. I'll see you next time.